From our family to yours, the Taste Master Junior, made with love by Clover. Last week, in their very first challenge, our juniors teamed up to bake a cake using their favorite ingredients. After a stressful bake, it was Tinica and Gabriella who impressed the judges. To be in elimination so early in this competition makes me feel really upset, but this is a chance for me to prove myself. I am feeling very nervous, but I'm confident at the same time. So here we are at the very first elimination challenge of Tastemaster Junior. Mm. Today is a double elimination. So by the end of the day, we will be losing two of you. Boom, double. Ish. My heart just sank. Two out of six contestants. That's a lot. While the bottom six prepare to bake for their place in the competition, last week's winners enjoy a day off, visiting one of Cape Town's most iconic landmarks, the aquarium at the V&A waterfront. I'm so excited to be at the Oceans Aquarium. Me too, I'm so glad that we got sent here. I'm especially excited to see the glowing jellyfish. Yeah, I'm so excited to just breathe fresh air outside. I think yeah. the sharks is going to be the most exciting thing, so let's go guys. And the stress is finally off us. Let's go. We are safe. <laughs> this season, the winner of the Tastemaster Junior will earn themselves 150,000 Rand in cash, courtesy of Capitec to better your future. Lishan, what would that mean for you? The 150,000 Rand from Capitec would mean the world to me because that can mean that I can pay my first year tuition for culinary school. Wow. Love that. Nice, man. Well, along with the money, of course, there is another 35,000 Rand to spend with Samsung, 35,000 Rand's worth of KitchenAid equipment and a year's supply of Clover Dairy products. So a lot to bake for. Speaking about baking, let's discuss your theme for the week. What is the most popular Italian takeaway? Think cheese, think tomato. <laughs> pizza. Yay! <laughs> we all love the cheesy deliciousness of pizza, but it can be very tricky to get right. You need to be able to make the perfect dough, proof it properly, and also stretch it properly. But luckily for you, we have a dough master in the Taste Master studio. You guys ready to make some pizza? Yes. yes. Let's go. I really psyched that we get pizza. I mean, I love eating it, but I've never made it before. I have made pizza before, but it didn't turn out right. Back at the aquarium, it's all smiles and laughter as the top six learn more about our precious ocean creatures. Is ek baie opgewonde dat ons hierdie ding gekry het om te doen wat ons gewend is. Oh my gosh, a west coast rock ramster. They're apparently one of the endangered species in the ocean. Really? Yeah. That's really sad, they're so beautiful. They are. Oh, he's riding it, he's riding it out. Oh my gosh. Right guys, this is 250 grams of well-fermented pizza dough. We're going to look at the shape. The shape is going to be everything. Okay, so here's how I shape my pizza dough. Right, I'm gonna start with my corners. Turn. I'm folding the layers on top of each other. I'm not here to build a structure, a gluten structure to give it volume. I'm here to create uniformity. I'm definitely taking Fritz's way of working with the dough and his technique of handling the dough with ghee. I've never baked pizza before in my life, so I am telling myself that I have to take this challenge head on. We're going to leave this to rest somewhere where it is safe from open air. What's going to happen if it gets air? It's going to form a crust. It's going to be not only difficult to shape, but it's going to start tearing. 
I am making a classic margarita. Looking at the colors of the Italian flag, we have our red, we have our white, and we have our green. I'm talking about basil, I'm talking about mozzarella. Today we're gonna to throw in an array of cheeses. We've got Gouda, cheddar, and tassels from Clover. If you guys can get stuck in and grate some cheese for me. Um, Bontle, just pick uh, the leaves off there, put them in a bowl, cover with a bit of olive oil, make sure they're all well covered. The reason why we do that is because of the high intensity of the heat, the basil leaves burn, so I protect them with a bit of olive oil. Okay. It is really so cool learning from Fritz. I'm really taking a lot of tips away from the masterclass that I'm definitely going to use. I actually used to work for a pizza company for three years, which is my aunt's company. So I have quite a bit of experience. We used to do markets here and there, and we actually had a restaurant. My name is Ompile Mashala, and I'm from Pretoria East. I'm a very bubbly person. I usually stay indoors, don't like going out much. And yeah, I'm just the fun person in general. My love for cooking comes from my mother and my grandmother. They used to cook a lot in the house and then I learned from them because you know, the aromas come in and now you also want to know how to make this and that. And that's how it began. Mpile has loved baking since he was very young. I think he was six or seven. When he started baking, he went for baking classes. He also loves cooking, he's always preparing food for us, breakfast, flapjacks. I entered the Test Master SA Junior because I'm usually a competitor at stuff and because I love cooking, I love baking, why not compete in it? I feel very excited for him and I'm very surprised about it because He's never told me about any competition and I feel like he's going to nail it. I think cooking and baking for Mpile is very good because he knows what he's doing. It will definitely mean a lot to win the 150,000 rand. It could be a life-changing moment as I could do a lot of things with it. I could take some of the money and put it towards my education, studying, getting tutors to help me achieve my future goals. Okay, let's get stuck in. So I'm going to firstly ensure that I have my juicy rim. What I'm doing is I'm preserving my little air bubbles and my structure in here. In the middle, I'm taking it out completely. So I'm going to work with my knuckles and not my fingers as to not damage the dough. And I'm gonna work slowly, just a little bit with the fingers. See that beautiful structure? Can you see through the light? You can actually see the light through, and I'm gonna test that. If I see that, that's how I'm gonna test that, okay, my dough is right. Right, preparing my peel for the load. Tomato base. Staying short of the crust, ne? And guys, this is very important. The moisture is a high risk factor for you as the base here. You're gonna go too soggy, it's not gonna crisp up. Right, an array of cheese. Gonna put a little bit of everything to get all the flavors in there today. Meltability of the cheese is important. We want a nice stretch, but we also want flavor. To finish the Italian flag. Right guys, this is the tricky part. That we wanna transfer our dough onto the peel and then we shape it, give it a last shape. Okay, now I always do the test. Is that gonna come off? But once we're in there, it's in there. If it's stuck, you're in trouble. Right, I'm gonna load this bad boy into the Everdure kiln. Super high temperature. Let's get it in there. Right here, I'm gonna set to turn. We're getting a nice rise in the crust. The pizza oven, it is so cool. Like you can see the flame, it's hot. We're going on to 90 seconds. And that for me is a perfect time yeah. for pizza. Mm. Mm. Tim, that is perfect. To finish it off, a little bit more of that sea salt. Drizzle, a bit of extra virgin olive oil. Fritz's pizza and it looks delicious. It says, come and eat me. Enjoy, guys. Grab <laughs> one. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> Ooh, what? This pizza tastes absolutely divine. I love the element of the basil and salt. It's soft. It has a thin base. It's cheesy. Mm. Everything is balancing. It's like 
the most perfect pizza I've ever tasted in my life. We ready for the challenge? Yes! Let's do it. Up next, it's time to bake some pizza. But there's one more twist to this challenge. Better never rests. So be the star to take your baking to the next level with Capitec. Did you enjoy Fritz's pizza? Yes. Mm, did you save me a slice? Mm, okay, don't worry. It's all right. It's all right. Well, I don't know about you guys, but in my family, we love to have big, elaborate meals with lots of dishes. And that means there's always a fridge full of leftovers. In the Thai Master Kitchen, we do not believe in food waste. So we want to see how creative you can be using leftovers. Each one of you will choose an unmarked container from our Samsung fridge. So your challenge for today is to use your container of leftovers to make your very own pizza. How you use those leftovers is completely up to you. I am nervous about what is in that fridge. What if it's something that I've never worked with? Who would like to come first? Oh, okay. I'm worried because what if that leftover doesn't go well with my pizza? I think it's lamb shank. Lamb shank, delicious. I like lamb shank because it is meaty and I am a meat lover. I have got some veggies. <sighs> okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just have to make it work. Some meatballs. This is easy, I can do this. Oh, you think you do already? Chicken. <laughs> happy girl, I'm a happy girl. Next up. Zara. I'm really experienced with using leftovers, so I think I've got this in the bag. Uh, I've got kebabs. And lo and behold, it's chicken skewers. And hopefully I can make my vision of chicken curry pizza come to life. It looks like a beef stew. Like it a is lamb. beef stew. Good one, right? Okay, well done, everyone. That's what I wanted. Did it work? I think so. Now, each of you will receive a portion of dough that's already been prepared. You are responsible to shape, prove, and stretch your dough in any way you choose. During that time, you will prepare your ingredients. And remember, you have access to our full pizza pantry right here. Use anything you want to. Once you are ready, you will move to the loading station where you will assemble your pizza and load it into the oven. Is that clear? Yes. Mm, I'm feeling relieved because I thought I'm going to have to start my own dough from scratch. Remember, this is a double elimination. So two of you will be going home. So bake your hearts out. You have one hour for this challenge. You ready? Yes. Because your time starts now. Go, go, go. Time has just started and I immediately begin rushing to get all of my ingredients then I realized that I actually need to start proofing my dough. So I move on to doing that. I'm extremely relieved that I don't have to make the dough myself. I'm taking my onions and garlic and I'm blending it up in the KitchenAid blender. The first thing that I'm going for is the dough. Rolling it, trying to remember all the techniques. I am busy tasting the chicken, then the salami. Then I'm like, you know what? Oh, to do that. I am so happy to work alone in the Elimination Challenge because I can focus on what I am doing and doing it right for myself. I got some meatballs and I am going to chop them up and then I'm gonna figure out how I can style them to look nice and presentable to the judges. Hmm, okay, I'm doing this so that my dough is well in shape. I'm baking alone and I'm very excited because now I'm going to have to put all my effort and all my ideas all by myself. My name is Lahakuma Fujani from the Val in Gauteng province and I am 16 years of age. Yo, I'm a very bubbly person and annoying at times and I'm not an outgoing person. Instead, I stay in the house and cook and bake. I inherited the love of cooking and baking from my grandparents and my parents. We cook a lot in this house. We see our pig in this house, yo, we cook a lot. The first thing I've baked was a chocolate cake and it was pretty good. It tasted really good. It was soft, moist and delicious. 
she is very good at cooking and we realized that together with her mom at a very early age that she's got the potential and that's the reason why we enrolled her at the local culinary school at an age of eight. Her cakes are nice, her food is like, especially her lasagna. Her lasagna tastes good. I joined this competition because I want to have fun and I want to flex about the passion I have for cooking and baking. They should expect somebody who's really good in cooking and baking, somebody who's better than their own mother and a champion. I picked lamb shank, so I'm going to be doing lamb shank pizza filled with peppers and mushrooms. I get beef stew and I'm imitating a flavor of pizza that I've had before called something meaty, barbecue sauce and beef stew with the mince and I'm combining that on the pizza and I'm hoping, praying that it works. I really hope that my pizza can actually save me from going home because I just arrived. I cannot go home now. To avoid elimination, I think simplicity is key. So I don't want to overcomplicate things and make something that I'm not familiar with. I'm really excited to see how they're going to change up the leftovers and make them something new and something interesting. Yes, I think we're going to see a lot about the characters that we're dealing with today because mm. this is truly an understanding of flavor and textures because they're preparing a meal. Yeah. Now the other thing they have to worry about is like dough management, temperature yeah. control. Don't overcomplicate it in my opinion. Make sure what you present is going to be delicious, it's going to be tasty and it's going to work on a quick bake. As the pressure rises in the elimination challenge, the top six enjoy the aquarium. Today is a fantastic opportunity for the kids to get a little bit more excited and see something as a bad guy. So that was very nice. It was nice to be able to experience the fish and all the haies. Beautiful shark! Wow! Many of the kids have not had a good idea to see what they can see. And it's a nice vacation together with a nice vacation. I really love peppers in everything, so I had to just put in some peppers. And I'm going to make a little sauce with everything combined. I am making a sauce for my pizza, a marinara sauce because I don't want to use like something store-bought. I want to elevate it a little bit to make it my own. Mpile. Hi, judges. What's your plan for the day? Um, you know, when you're at home, you like have veggies in the fridge, just want to add some meat to it, just make it delicious. Okay, so you're not vegetarian? <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you're adding chicken to your veg? And what are you doing to that chicken? Um, I'm just frying it a bit, just to give it a color. For my veggies, I'm going to put them in the oven, roast them a bit with some oil, just to get them a bit harder. Don't forget that those veggies are gonna get quite a bit of direct heat itself. If you wanna crisp it up, that's fine. It's gonna get plenty of crisping later as well. We don't want it overcooked and... No problem. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of meat, but anyways, it's not a problem. Everybody loves meat around here. For my sauce, I'll be using the lamb shank sauce. And then I'm going to take it to the frying pan so that it reduces the water. And then I have my pizza base sauce. Lishan? Hello. Hello, chefs. What have you got in that jug there? I just blended tomatoes mm -hmm. and some spices and onion and some olive oil. And now I'm just gonna put it in a saucepan and add some brown sugar, just to take the acidity away. So is this your sauce base for your pizza? Yes. Or? Okay. Yes. Okay, and what style of pizza are you making? Oh, I'm gonna take your idea, but I'm gonna add leash into it. Aha, uh -huh. okay. What are you gonna do with the meatballs? The meatballs, I'm gonna throw it in here. Oh. To let the juices of this go into the meatballs because it also already has a flavor, okay. a barbecue flavor. Okay. So I'm just gonna switch that up a little. Okay. Ooh, the onions. How are things going? 
things are going good. I am trying to finish my sauces. Uh, like I'm trying to imitate the something meaty pizza. So I'm going to use this and also mix with the mints on top of the pizza. So cooked yep. separately, you're not combining the two. You're going to cook the mints and then you're going to also use that as a topping. Okay. Is that the sauce for your mints or is that? Um, I'm going to try to mix it incorporate both of them on the base. Just, it sounds heavy, mm -hmm. so just take into consideration how much weight your actual base can okay. can carry. Mm -hmm. right? And pizza, is it something you've made before at home? <laughs> I've never made pizza no? before. It's my first time, actually. So my dough is ready. Um, I just need to flatten it out. I want to make sure that I have <laughs> everything cooked to this time. How are things going? Perfect. Perfect. Oh, you wow. were very happy when you got the yes. lamb shank. So, and I see you've shredded the meat, taken it off the bone, and is that the, the sauce? Yes. So the plan I have is to use this to put on the base, and then add the lamb shank on top, add my veggies, and then cheese, and then that's it. Sounds fantastic. It does. And um, is that your dough? Yes. It's drying out there. Okay. I'll, yeah. I'll... If it forms a skin, you're not going to be able to shape it. Okay, let me do it. Have you made pizza at home before? I have, but back then I was very young. Ah! Then, so I don't remember all that. My season. old heart can't take it. <laughs> You are 30 minutes in. You have 30 minutes left to complete this challenge. Let's Woo! go. Halfway, everybody. Halfway. 30 minutes. Uh, how long does mince take to cook? Uh, um, I need to get my dough ready. I've got half an hour left. And I don't know. Like, I'm feeling stressed. Because I'm going for a something meaty. So I don't have my something meaty ready. You at home can also join in the Tastemaster Junior Fun. Show us your interpretation of this week's challenge by making your best home-baked pizza using leftovers. Made with love by using Clover. Upload it onto socials by replying to the competition post and using the hashtag the Tastemaster Junior and hashtag Clover Made with Love. You could stand a chance of winning a KitchenAid Classic Stand Mixer plus a Clover Hamper. Happy pizza flipping! Crafted to perfection with award-winning taste, quality and creamy texture. Made with love by Clover. Ooh, that looks very tasty. Talk Thank us through you. it. Well, I really never had like a plan for this. When I cook, I just like to go with the flow and go with the taste and then just Albert comes to mind. Um, yeah, so I'm really you just tasting. You crack me up, you really do. <laughs> I'm really just tasting that I'm like, oh, I would love a kick. Then I'm like, okay, a little bit of chili. Then I'm okay. like, mm, mushrooms. Then I add mushrooms. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to keep it like a bit balanced because I can go overboard with flavors I know myself. Mm -hmm. I am splashing some feta into my rims and then I am going to glaze it with my garlic. How are things going? Things are going pretty well. I'm trying to make a chicken curry and mushroom with like some veggies, um, inspired by the veggies on the skewer. Ah, oh, nice, clever. I like that. Mm, Taking okay. the whole thing into consideration. The smells from the station though, mm, good loving news. it. Good news. Loving have, you, have you made pizza before? Um, my grandma usually makes chicken curry and what we do with that, with the leftover, we usually make a pizza with that. Oh. So in the time I have, I don't have time to make a whole curry. So I'm using some curry powder and, I'm, and onions and garlic and I'm trying to do what we usually do at home. Lovely. Okay. Whoops, <laughs> lost a mushroom. That's really good sauce. Is this is supposed to come this way? I don't know. I'm trying to do what, she, what Fritz was doing. If this mince can just do its thing very fast for me. Okay. While the bottom six stretch their dough, the top six stretch their legs as they finish off their outing with a stop at one of Cape Town's top places for pizza. 
The pizzas look so good. I'm thinking of building my own pizza, maybe with avo, mushrooms, red onion, and some roasted red pepper. That sounds so good. How about we share one? Yeah, what do you think about Hawaiian? That sounds good too. I think we have to share a juicy chicken pizza. Yes, definitely. Yes. I'm thinking of going with like a sweet baby blue maybe. It's like, it's like caramelized onions with blue cheese and whatever. What do you think? That's just That's nice, yeah. yeah. Are we ready to order? I'd say so. Our pizza party is underway. Yeah, it's like very this. exciting. I love the creativity that I'm seeing. Uh, Jazara has got some very interesting flavors going on. Exciting. I love that she's drawing on sort of um, what she's used to at home, mm -hmm. but sort of reinventing it for the time constraints yeah. here. And then Ompila over there. I'm a bit worried about the, the triple cooking of the roasted veggies, but I guess he has a plan and we'll see how that comes together. Here we've got Mabunte who is tasting Adding mm. a little bit of this, a little bit of that, little showing a little bit of flair in the kitchen. I love that. Lehakwe, mm -hmm. that got the lamb. Uh, so she's pulling that apart and mm. making some flavors that's going to work really well with that. Hopefully, yeah. it doesn't get too saucy, too heavy. Mm. Lubabalo. I, I fear there might be a lot going on because I think the hero is should be the leftovers. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I'm wondering if it's all going to come together the way that he's planned. But you know, we we stay hopeful. Hundred percent, always. Mm. Lishan also like really like into his pizza. He's mm. very excited. But I think they're all doing great for time. You helped them out a lot with that dough. They all seem to have shaped it beautifully. They now have to stretch it, and then it's time to mm. make pizza. I hope and I'm planning that this dough actually comes out okay and that it doesn't crack or break. Ten minutes ago, I'm starting to roll my pizza and I'm freaking out because what if my dough tears while I'm trying to like stretch it? I'm incorporating my clover cheese in the stuffed crust and I'll be adding it on top. The dough is going well. I'm actually just doing what Fritz did. <laughs> so hopefully it's right. Please, can you come and create? Can you help me create cheese? Can you create your grater? Which one do you want? Can you create this? Thank I'll create the, the mozzarella. So I'm doing a three cheese mix with the clover cheeses. So I'm using white cheddar and the cheddar, and I'm using mozzarella cheese. I'm not gonna put all of this cheese on my pizza. I unfortunately grated too much cheese and now I'm stressing because the brief was speaking about food waste. Do you want some cheese? Sara, do you want some cheese? Mabuinte, Liakwe, cheese, anyone? Lubabalo, my neighbor. This station is so messy. I am like, guy, clean up. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just a messy baker. Seconds, everybody. Oh, that's too close. Yeah. Okay, okay, I think I'm going to be perfect. Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop, Stop working. working. All right, guys, let's get ready. All your ingredients should be in bowls, ready for the bake. I'm feeling calm. I'm trying to collect myself and staying focused. It's the moment of truth as the judges taste their pizzas. But for the top six, it's time to enjoy theirs. Wow, so that good. looks really cool. Wow, this pizza's so good. <laughs> Hashtag living that good life. <laughs> Now I'm talking and I see, whoa, oh, there's a little hole. And then another hole. I'm trying to close. Things are not closing. I'm not shangani, guys. I want to cry. Go, go, go. More, 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 more. Shake, shake, shake. A oh, little bit back. Perfect. Let it come out. Now I'm seeing my pizza in there and I'm like, I'm supposed to use time, but then doing it with my eyes, I feel like it's more safe. Feel it. I think I like it. I'm using five ingredients, which is the cheese, the lamb shank, the onion, the mushroom, and the peppers. So I'm playing it safe. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit scared because what if it burns or maybe the dough doesn't get properly baked or something? Okay. How do you feel about that? 
Mm, yeah, it's good. It's good. It looks great. My pizza is heart shaped because it contains a lot of clover products and it's made with love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. And a quick exit. Yeah. Chips. Putting the pizza into the oven and I'm feeling really happy because the crust is starting to bubble up and hopefully it comes out fine. Yeah. Cool. You got it. The most difficult part of the challenge is taking the pizza out of the oven. It did catch on fire a little bit, but Fritz blew it out before it could do any damage. For me to go with a heart-shaped pizza, I think I just wanted to show the judges that this was actually made with love and to show and share my emotions onto the pizza. Did you put anything in the crust? Yes, we have feta cheese in the crust. Why feta? Um, I think with the salt, um, it kind of complements the whole pizza. It just adds a bit of flavor to the crust. Okay. Um, I almost left my pizza in the oven, but I managed to actually take it out with a little bit of help from this. What are you brushing there? Uh, we have garlic and some oil and some oregano. You like food, eh? <laughs> The clover cheeses, I think, are very good quality and they will bring some extra balance into my whole pizza itself. Why is this happening? My face, it cracked. I felt that everything is going smooth and how this is happening to me. Why? That's falling off the back here. My pizza dough is getting a nice crust, and I didn't leave it in for too long. I'm happy with it. You are? Yeah. Looks great. Thank you. Nice. I'm putting my tomato base on and some of my barbecue sauce that I've made. I'm doing a double sauce base, and I'm putting a nice thick layer of cheese on my base, and then I put my toppings, which is my beef stew with my mince, and then I put on my cheese and some oiled basil and my oiled bell peppers. As the pizza goes into the oven, I'm feeling a bit more confident than ever. You happy with that? Mm. What's wrong? It's okay. I think it's perfect. Up next, fresh from the oven, contestants present their handmade pizzas to the judges. Ompile? Hi. Happy with your pizza? Um, I think it kind of maybe overcooked. Okay. Um, got burnt a little. Garlic smells delicious. Mm. I think nice addition. Always enhances the flavors of a pizza. So I think good choice. I can't wait for you to slice this pizza. <laughs> Two people are going to go home, so that's a bit nerve-wracking. Ompile, I'm happy to say that it actually isn't too burnt. The char flavor is very mild, and I think that that with the ro roasted veggies, I think is a good combination. The crust is beautifully cooked. It's lovely and chewy, it's light, but in some spots where the topping was maybe too heavy, it seems to have weighed the dough down and has made it a little bit doughy. But in terms of flavor, I really enjoy that charred flavor. I think the one thing that maybe couldn't take as much heat was the basil, you know, because we lose a lot of that flavor. And then part of that doughiness can also be because it was very worked. Once you start working things into the crust, etc., you start handling that dough way more than what it wants to be touched and managed. Mm. And you knock out a lot of that potential for it to rise. Mm. But otherwise, good flavors, good pizza. Thank you. Lehakwe, how do you feel about this pizza? I feel good. <laughs> what do you like about it? Do you think the shape looks good? Do you think the flavors are going to be good? What are you the excited about? The flavors are going to work together. And what cheese did you use? A cheddar cheese and gouda cheese mm. and mozzarella. I am quite nervous for them to dig in my pizza because one mistake can lead you to elimination. I think you've got a decent bike on your base. 
maybe 10 more seconds, just to give some color there on the bottom of that base, because you were also very generous with your toppings, meaning that's gonna be a very heavy pizza. So you wanna ensure there's a little bit more caramelization and structure that can actually hold that. In terms of the flavors, definitely not contradicting one another, I can tell you that much. Maybe slightly under seasoned. I think it showed great skill for you to pull apart that lamb shank, reserve the stock, and then reduce it and use it as the sauce element. I think that is clever baking. I also think that you're very considerate when it comes to texture because the way that you cooked your peppers and your onions add a beautiful crunch to the entire thing. I think that you know what you did with your leftovers is fantastic. So you can be very proud of this pizza. I'm walking up to the judges with my pizza and I am praying that when I set this pizza down on the table that it looks appetizing to the eyes because you first eat with your eyes. You happy with your pizza, Lua Balo? I don't know how to feel about it. Why? Because I don't know if like my flavor combinations are actually like tasting good, but I hope it is. I hope it's going to be the bomb and not a bomb. Lubabala, I think the flavor of your barbecue sauce is really lovely. And I think that that with the beef stew would have been more than enough. Because I actually can't tell what part is mince and what part is beef stew anyway. So I feel like you put all that effort and all that work into making that mince. But it didn't really contribute in terms of, you know, wow flavor to this. You got a great bake on it. There are some parts where it was, you know, overloaded with filling. So it's a little bit doughy but the flavor is wonderful. I wish there was like a fresh element. Maybe had you put the basil on after you'd baked it, would have brightened up and lifted the pizza. That crust is perfection. Mm. And it just goes to show you your handling and your treatment of getting that pizza on without affecting the structure that was already in place. That's the magic. Mm, so you said you were going by feel. Yes. I'm doing the Mabin no feel dance. <laughs> so you're happy with the, the flavor you got in the end? Yes, I feel happy. Feel happy. Feel the dough came out well, your flavors came out well. Yes, I'm it's just a, a bit worried about maybe it didn't bake enough, but I feel like it can pull it through. When I make pizza, I go all in, all in. And now I'm trying to play it safe. So, playing it safe is not my thing. I'm a grr person. Mabuntle, I think you've elevated your leftovers. You've really incorporated so many components that work so well with chicken. The chili was great, the salami was a fantastic idea. It was also like a paprika-based salami. So you brought in a lot of spice and life into that flavor. You are spot on, you could have baked it for 15 extra seconds to give us a little bit more structure, but the texture of your crumb is great. It's got the slow bounce back, so it makes it very chewy. But great flavors, good balance, very enticing. I feel like having more. Mm. Thank you. Mabunze, you should keep doing the dance because clearly <laughs> it helps. Because the flavors in that topping are so cohesive, I couldn't tell you what was a leftover. Mm. And that means that is a successful use or reimagination of leftovers. This pizza is absolutely sensational. Hi. Hello, judges. Tazara, happy with your pizza? Yes. I think first off, off the bat, your presentation is really lovely. Your heart is really neat, and the way that you scattered that um, rocket looks good. Thank you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, you know, I'm not one for, you know, the fluff, the noise, the shapes, the this and that but I can't deny that this is super cute. Mm. So we're going to give it a taste. I'm feeling extremely happy. Hopefully it is enough for the judges to like it and keep me safe. Jazara, I think that this was such a clever use of leftovers. The fact that you turned skewers into a delicious warm curry, bravo. And you know, I was wary when you said that you're going to stuff the crust with cheese because I imagined you're going to sort of cut the cheese into strips or something and then put in the crust. But grating it made it a pocket. Mm -hmm. 
which added a lightness and a beautiful flavor and texture to that crust. So that was also an inspired idea. I think this is a very creative pizza and it tastes wonderful. Thank you so much. You definitely know flavor. I thought the olive was going to be a bad choice. I was wrong. It almost brought like this odd sweetness and something that, you know, made me want to have more. So well done on an excellent effort and a great bake. Yeah. Thank you so much. Even though I went for simplicity, I believe that this will get me out of the elimination challenge. Lishan, how do you feel about this pizza? I feel pretty confident about it. I feel that your, my flavors will shine through how I planned. You assembled your pizza off of the loading peel. And with heavy items like that, it tends to be very tricky because they're dragging down that thin layer of dough and that's why you've got the not so uniform shape here. I'm all for rustic, but that's just something to take into consideration. Yes, sir. I am confident because I added my own flavor to it. I added my personality to it. Malishan, I think you've got a great bake on that base. Underneath you'll see there's some caramelization, some spots of heat, so it's holding that generous amount of topping that you put on it pretty well. I love that you made a homemade sauce, that you took your own spin on it and gave it your own flavor. However, I would say it's slightly on the sweet side for me. I love the fresh basil flavor and the rustic shape, I didn't mind because it sort of like echoed the rustic feel of the meatballs as well. I thought stylistically that was really nice. And the bake is wonderful. The crust, the little charred bits of the crust as well add a wonderful flavor dimension. So I think that this is a, a successful pizza. Thank you very much. Good job. Thank you. I'm so grateful to be here and be safe from elimination. Me too. It's really a privilege. Me too. I'm happy I can sit here and eat pizza and not make the pizza. I'm very grateful that we're not in the elimination challenge. Yeah, I'm super happy. Stress is relieved. Well, Fritz, this is going to be a very tough decision. Mm. We need to send two people home, but we had six very good pizzas. Mm. Hard decision, mm. but one we have to go make. Yep, a lot to debate here. Up next, with mixed reactions from the judges and a double elimination, who will be going home? Crafted to perfection with award-winning taste, quality and creamy texture. Made with love by Clover. Today, you all certainly showed us that you can get creative with leftovers and that leftovers can make really wonderful pizza. You guys all produced a high level of baking today, so please give yourselves a round of applause. Guys, it's never easy saying goodbye, especially this early in the competition, but it is the only way that we can progress and go forward. I can tell you with all honesty, today's decision was very hard because there was no bad bikes. This was really like nuanced decision. So um, I hope you understand that and do not lose heart. If I call your name, please take a step forward. Jazara. Mabente. The two of you produced the best pizzas of the day. Congratulations, ladies. You are safe. You may step back. Will the other four bakers please take a step forward? Lehakwe, your lamb pizza had a wonderful flavor. We loved the way that you used your leftovers. The addition of the crunchy veg took it to another level. And for that reason, you were safe. You may step back. Lubabalo. 
You had a great bake today on your base, really, really good. Your hero ingredient was lost. We need some balance in those flavors. It was truly not a bad bake at all. But unfortunately, in this tough competition, not good enough today. The next contestant to unfortunately leave the Tastemaster kitchen is Umpile. Slight overbake, but not much. Marginal. The excessive use of flour and the slight dough inconsistencies was unfortunately enough to not make the cut today. I'm just... I really can't believe what's happening. I never thought it would reach this point as early as it is. Both you gentlemen have shown already immense talent. You guys have a bright future ahead of you. Do not lose hope mm. and build on from this experience. We're going to miss you. For the rest of you, we'll see you in the next challenge. The competition only gets tougher from here. 5% of me is relieved because there's no more pressure, but I'm still very sad that I'm not going to bake in the kitchen again. Going forward, I'm going to continue focusing on my schoolwork and bake here and there. Bye, everyone. It was nice meeting you all. Next week on the Tastemaster Junior, the top 10 are taken on a tropical flavor journey. Plus, meet their first guest judges, Mimi and Holly Ray. Another feel-good production.